What's up guys, Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com and today we're talking about how to make better contact when you're hitting. Contact is so important, right? If you're not good at making contact, even if you got a very powerful swing, it doesn't mean anything because you gotta hit the baseball, right? Before we get into the video, I wanna say thank you to Big League Grips for sponsoring this video. Big League Grip is a bat grip training aid for all ages. When you place it on your bat, it teaches proper grip and proper palm up, palm down hand placement throughout the swing. Training with these grips increases bat control, optimizes bat speed, and maximizes your success at the plate. Check them out at bigleaguegrips.com. So the first thing when it comes to making better contact is to make sure that you got the right size and weight bat, the length and weight bat, because if you're swinging a bat that's too long or too heavy, uh, you're not gonna be able to make as good a contact as, as if you had the correct weight and length bat. Same goes for if you're swinging a two, bat too short or too light, right? It's just not gonna give you the same amount of success as if you were swinging the right bat for you. Now, I shot a video with Rawlings and we talked about how to pick the best bat for you. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But just remember that you gotta swing the right size and length bat if you wanna have good contact at the plate. Tip number two when it comes to having good contact is to have good timing, right? You gotta have good timing because you could have the most perfect swing mechanics. Your swing could be beautiful, but if your timing is off, if you're too late or too early on balls, you're not gonna have the same success as if you were on time, right? So timing is huge. In fact, I just shot a video with a bunch of tips on how to improve your timing. So make sure you watch that one if you're struggling with your timing. But to work on your timing, the main thing is you have to do more work with live pitching, right? You gotta focus on where you're struggling, right? If you're struggling, with uh, timing, live pitching is gonna be your best bet to get back on time. There's a bunch of other tips in that video, so go check that one out too. Tip number three to make better contact when hitting is having a good swing plane. And this might be the most important, in fact, because if you're not having a good swing plane, and let's say you're swinging down at the ball, right? A lot of coaches say swing down at the ball. You're crossing the path of that ball for only a very split second, right? If that ball's coming in on this angle here, you're swinging down at this angle right here, there's only a split second to when you can hit that ball. So your timing has to be perfect, right? To make contact with that ball, you have to be so perfect with your timing. If you create a good swing plane and you get this bat on the path of the ball, on the plane of the pitch earlier and stay on it longer, you're gonna have more uh, success at making contact. Even if you're a little bit late or a little bit early, you're still gonna be on the plane of the pitch, right? So to have a good swing, uh, swing plane, we wanna set our body angle, right? We wanna get our chest over our toes. That puts us in a more athletic position and also creates an axis around our spine to swing around. So when we go to swing, we wanna be here and get on plane with that pitch early. So now I'm on plane, 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 off plane. So there's a lot more room for error in my timing than if I was swinging down or even uppercutting, right? We hear a lot about swinging up. Give me those moon shots, right? Same goes for that. We wanna be on plane with the pitch. That's gonna help our timing. That's gonna give us much better contact when hitting the baseball. Tip number four when trying to make better contact when hitting is to swing a wood bat, right? The reason why a wood bat is such a great tool to use when you're working on your contact is because you've got less of a sweet spot, right? You gotta be a better hitter. Mr. Romack from Kissimmee Sticks, he says, aluminum makes good cans, wood makes good hitters. And I always love that quote because I believe it to be true. And if you're swinging wood, you've got a smaller sweet spot and the ball just comes off of this bat a little bit different than it does off of your other bats, right? So make sure that when you're practicing on making good contact that you're swinging your wood. Uh, you know, I, I like to tell my guys half and half. If you're only swinging wood in games, then you can do that a lot. Uh, if you're not, if you're swinging your other bat in games, then maybe go half and half, but always working with wood when you can because it's gonna make you a better hitter. Tip number five for making better contact is to hit with heavy balls because heavy balls are not only gonna work on us getting to the contact point, but driving through it, being strong through that contact point. This is just a heavy ball, it's about a pound. Uh, it's filled with sand, I believe. And all you're gonna do is work on getting down to contact and driving through because guys who are weak at their contact point or they have some insufficiencies in their swing, when they get to that ball and cut it off or, or be soft through it, they're really gonna feel that. So when you're using your he the heavy ball, you really have to work on using everything within your body to drive through this ball, right? Get to a good, strong contact point and really get extended through that ball. And that's the great benefit of using heavy balls when working on having better contact, stronger contact in your baseball swing. 
Tip number six on how to improve your contact, and it's to train small, right? This is a skinny barrel bat right here. And we're gonna hit mini wiffle balls with this bat. Imagine if you could hit mini wiffle balls that are moving with this skinny barrel bat right here. When you start swinging regular size baseballs with your regular bat, it's gonna be so much easier because you've been practicing small, you've been training small. So use a skinny barrel bat, and a mini wiffle ball pitching machine to work on training small. You're gonna be able to hit those small moving objects. Over time, you'll get better at it. And then when you get to your regular bat and the regular baseballs, it's gonna be so much easier. You're gonna be such a better contact hitter. Before we get into tip number seven, I wanna let you know that we're giving away one of the big league grips. All I need you to do is hop down in the comment section below and let me know what you're gonna do this season to work on your contact. And I'll choose a random comment to win one of the big league grips, I'll ship it right to you. And the last tip, number seven for having better contact is to practice more. Yeah, practice, we're talking about practice. If you're not happy with where you're at with your contact, right, you're watching this video for a reason, you wouldn't clicked on it if you're not having issues, right? If you're having troubles, work on it, right? You can't just watch these videos and go, oh, that, those are some good ideas and never do anything about it. You gotta get out there and put in the work. Do some of the things I suggested, right? Watch some of those other videos I suggested. These things will help if you put them to use, right? I promise you, I've seen the results myself with guys that I work with, but you have to do it. You have to put in the work, okay? Practice all this stuff and you will be better at hitting the ball, having better contact, okay? Hop down in the comments below. Let me know that you're getting out there, right? Hop down there right now. Say, coach, I'm shutting the computer off. I'm going out to hit. I'm working on some of these drills that you just told me. Tell me what drills you worked on when you come back. Let me know. We'll talk down in the comments section. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell because I got some really good stuff coming that I don't want you to miss.